on all the injuries? Yeah, so um, David Morris got an injury uh, to his foot, and he's not, not in, in this season, but he'll miss, miss a little time. Um, Calvin, same way. He'll, uh, he'll miss some time. I'm trying to think if there's anyone glaringly long term. A bunch of bunch, bumps and bruises, you know, guys taking a lighter practice, things like that. Those two guys, extended amount of time. Is When you say extended amount of time, is there a possibility that either one of those guys could miss a season, or is that perhaps too far down the line to think I, about yet? I think it's, a, you know, anything's possible, but right now I think there's a good chance we could get, especially David back. Um, Calvin, we're still waiting on a couple things, but for so sure, David. With, with Morris, is it, is it just a re-injury to the same foot? No, a different foot. The other yeah. foot. Yeah. Earlier this week, uh, on Tuesday, Jake didn't take any reps. He was back today. Was there anything anything there, or just kind of uh, usual stuff? Hand to the helmet, and so it was, it was just having a tough time gripping the ball, so we decided to give him a day to, to do that. What do you see out of your quarterbacks after this week? I think they're progressing. Um, you know, I think the, a lot of the package is in. And so now it really, it's getting closer to just like, okay, this is the package who operates at the best, uh, who, who avoids the negative play, moves the ball, scores touchdowns. So, you know, these next few practices are gonna be really important for them. Since spring ball, where have you seen the most progression, whether that be just as a whole or a certain group? You know, I think all groups have progressed. You know, stand out to me is kind of like our defensive line, their technique and effort. I think the receiver play is really consistent right now it's compared to like, it was solid in the spring, but at a high level, in my opinion, during during camp. Uh, I think our backfield, those young backs have uh, brought something there to the backfield for sure. Can you talk a little bit about uh, Josiah Irish again? He made another big play today. Is he kind of pushing himself into some minutes yeah. here, big time? He, he is, you know, and, and he's not alone in that freshman class of pushing and competing for time and he's doing some good things on special teams as well he has been a, a a really solid standout for not just a couple of days but throughout camp and what does that say about you know the staff you're able to put together that some of these breakout guys are guys that you guys were able to find on basically a quarter or yeah. less of a recruiting cycle I do yeah these guys did a good job you know of you know coming in a little late for sure and then still identifying what we what we were looking for and a lot of these freshmen fit what we're looking for and, and it's produced you mentioned back on media day how useful this new rule with red shirts is going to be. How much yeah. do you actually expect these guys to play? Well, we're definitely going to have, I don't know exact percentages, but a good amount of the class getting into some games. Um, when and where, don't know yet. But I think just the rule is great for these guys to keep on pushing and start of the season. It's not like oh, i got to just go through this whole year and never have a chance to get on the field. So, like I said, it's the first year doing it got to be creative and have a strategy on when and where they get in but I'd like to get more than half the class in the game at some point. Do you feel like you're getting pretty close to finally naming that starting quarterback? I wouldn't say so um, but I do think it's you know everything's getting evaluated obviously we're getting closer to a, to a starting point but I, I wouldn't say we're close. So you're about halfway through your first uh, fall camp as head coach how do you how, how's it feeling just in general and how does it feel to know that in just a couple weeks you guys got your first opponent? Yeah, it, it feels good to be doing what I'm doing. I know that. Uh, guys are working hard. We're having some fun out here. Enjoy being around the, the whole staff and the department for that matter. Uh, haven't put a lot of thought into like, oh gosh, getting close to my first game or, you know, just don't approach it that way. With your secondary bank, do you first see guys like Jaden Robinson and Justin Gardner take more reps? What do you see from them? Those guys have been, I think the reps have been great for those guys. Both, both those guys have improved and, you know, we are a little bit banged up, and you know how DBs are, they're running around a ton, and so some of it's just kind of saving legs at different spots. So you got to have some depth in the secondary, especially in this league, and uh, I think we're getting close to having them. Deshaun Wilson, Jay Irvine, those two kids, are they getting closer to being back on the field? Um, I, I think uh, Deshaun is closer than Jay, okay. um, but uh, again, I don't know the exact time table. You just said, oh, go ahead. The running backs kind of uh, determining a pecking order with Art, Art getting the yeah. ones and the Jamar. Kind of, yeah, I think each group's kind of doing that. I do feel like we're not going to just have one back, but we're going to play a couple guys. You talked about how you're not looking too much into week one, but just with everything going on now, how I see, how much does that potentially change your game plan going into that? Not, not at all. I mean, you know, players are the ones playing out there, and our focus really to this point has really been us. We'll start getting into those guys in about a week.